My name is Lokeshwari. Collector and engineer na auda man kunto na na. My dad per inka nil petala na kunto na na. My name is Siddhira Mes. I want to become engineer. This is a story of hope, dreams, and courage. Lokeshwari goes to one of Hyderabad's affordable English medium private schools. Every day is a new challenge, an uphill task for Lokeshwari and her two younger brothers. Her father, a garbage collector, shells out rupees 300, almost 10% of what he earns every month on each child to give them a better future. Private school kanta pampisnam ani edo maake ma kutumbamlo konchem ella diskoni ma pillalaku kuda koddiga jeevana dhanaga. Hyderabad has more than 3000 such schools with over 1.5 million students. who go to these schools dreaming of changing their fortune through education but are the steps to their schools also the steps to knowledge cramped classrooms untrained teachers inadequate teaching skills fear of the rod and a lack of adequate infrastructure reduce their quest to a distant dream There are four types of geometrical shapes. All of you know: square, rectangle, triangle, circle. Rectangle has a two sides, uh, two opposite sides are equal. Example is window. This is a rectangle, huh? and the formula is, you know, formula. Area of rectangle is. L plus B, length into breadth, and uh, perimeter of triangle rectangle is 2L plus B. Okay, you stand up. What is the formula? Stand up. Area Tell me formula. Area of rectangle L plus L plus B. Very good. Sit down. The mission of the Michael and Susan Dell Foundation is to transform the lives of poor urban children in measurable ways. That's what we do in India. One of the things that we've often heard is that there are several poor private schools that take a bulk of children from the urban slums. In 2007, we tested this hypothesis by conducting some major research in the cities of Chennai, Hyderabad and Bangalore. we found that in hyderabad alone almost 73% of the children surveyed from the slums were actually going to poor private schools their parents were willing to pay anything from 150 rupees to 600 rupees something like 3 dollars to 12 dollars a month in order for their children to go to these schools and the only reason they sent them there was because they thought these kids would have a better chance of learning english in particular and on overall terms a, get a better education than they would in the alternative government schools we floated a tender to ask for organizations both ngos as well as for profit organizations to tell us how they could actually transform several of these poor private schools we selected educomp to do a pilot project in the city of hyderabad which appears to have the majority of these poor private schools we're particularly excited about this project project gyan shakti that educomp is doing because of some unique features it has one educomp brings a lot of experience and a particular use of technology to try and make major change happen In this program they're using technology in full technology in two schools half technology in two others and none in the last two The second is that they are going to get a third party external assessment organization to actually track the change in children's learning levels over the course of the program thereby giving really useful feedback to how the program is going Over the past 15 years of our existence Educomp has worked very hard to solve two basic problems in the Indian context one is on improving quality of education and the other is access to education project gyan shakti 
brings together all of Educom's experience in innovative solutions that we have used for over 15 years in India. It addresses some of the key challenges for urban underprivileged schools, namely quality of leadership, quality of infrastructure and quality of educational materials. With Project Gyan Shakti, we hope to evolve a model that can reach out to hundreds of thousands of such schools spread across the country and bring better learning outcomes to millions of students. We are very excited to partner with MSDF in this pioneering initiative that is going to improve the learning standards of millions of students across India. Project Gyan Shakti is a 360 degree program that empowers teachers, leaders and students. The program aims at bringing a measurable change in student learning by integrating technology, resources and an improved classroom environment. The technology program consists of two components, the smart class system and the smart assessment system. The smart class system is a comprehensive solution designed to assist the teachers in enhancing the students' academic performance with simple, practical and meaningful use of technology. A simple classroom is transformed into a high-tech classroom with a plasma TV, CPU and a keyboard. The classrooms are connected to the central knowledge center which houses the entire repository of 38,000 highly animated, lesson-specific 3D and 2D multimedia modules based on the curriculum. The Smart Class program brings abstract and difficult concepts to life and makes learning an enjoyable experience for students. When it came to budget schools, that is the private schools that we are working with now, we have to face a lot of challenges while setting up smart class. Like for example, infrastructure, where the walls were weak, the roof was low, and in some schools, there was no supply of power in the classes. And also one more challenge we faced was, the syllabus followed by each school was different. The textbooks followed by them were different publishers, and we had to customize the content to their needs. The program started with an intensive teacher's training module, enabling the teachers to use technology in classroom teaching. Workshops are also helping teachers and they are encouraging us how to deal the students and uh, how to understand their problems uh, in the education and giving good education to them. They are helping very much and we are feeling very better. As an educationist, I know the importance of smart class program in the schools and especially which is not in reach for the slum children. For them, it is a dream to handle the computers or to watch this, to have this education system. So as soon as I got this opportunity, I have taken with a uh, lot of enthusiasm. Even my teachers cooperated with me like anything. They are also now learning the computer skills with the resource persons. Starting this smart class program in primary section, we observed increase in attendance, increase in performance of the children. The second part of the technology solution is the smart assessment system that enables the teachers to instantly assess and evaluate the learning achieved by their students in the classrooms. With the aid of wireless handheld devices, students respond to multiple choice questions projected on the monitors. All this data is stored and forms the basis of monitoring student learning. They say system is actually helping the teacher to understand how many students in the class have actually understood the particular concept and how many have doubts that are to be clarified. So if you see here, we have an example of uh, Vaishnavi who is a student of class 1. She has scored 20% marks in uh, the topic My People whereas in the topic uh, The Clever Crow, she has scored 80% marks. So this shows us that she has not understood the concept properly that is the topic my people and the teachers now would uh, try to explain the topic once again to the child making it more clearer. Besides using technology to make abstract concepts come alive the Educom team spends time with children during the school hours trying to understand and analyze their learning styles. Based on this understanding teachers categorize their students into visual, auditory and kinesthetic learner groups and use role play group activities and math and science kits to teach them accordingly. This active learning methodology leads to a student-friendly environment and makes learning a pleasant and wholesome experience. Are you enjoying? Yes, sir. Good. Today also we'll have another activity in maths. What is 
the area of rectangle? Area of rectangle is length into breadth. Very good. Please sit down. In my class, this colorful chart and the activities they are helping me to study and the fun. My studies are becoming simple and interesting for me. Classroom environment plays a huge role in setting a stimulating atmosphere for learning. Therefore, the classrooms have been given a makeover with the use of colorful charts, mobiles, word walls, and softboards. The school building too has been incorporated as the learning aid used to promote students' learning, especially number concepts, measurements, shapes and patterns, etc. Children's expressions are now being given a foundation and a new direction. Apart from this, some other significant initiatives are the leadership development programs, the medical camps, the physical fitness program, the remedial programs, etc. Edicomp thus plans to touch every aspect of school improvement. With all these interventions, there are signs of early gains. An 18% increase in student attendance, increased participation in classroom activities, an attempt by the students to speak in English. Teachers, on the other hand, have become a little more aware of their roles and responsibilities and are trying out some of the new strategies an improvement in student results as well and all that is extremely heartwarming but there are challenges in front of us the biggest challenge is to sustain the initial excitement strengthening the pillars of the school that is the leaders and teachers in various aspects like the pedagogical skills the management Ericom believes this is just a beginning the first few steps of a long journey of empowering children. There is a change, a positive difference. The change is evident in the spark of confidence in their eyes, the joyful smiles on their young aspiring faces. Now there is hope of Lokeshwari's dream turning into a reality.